What's up guys, Earl here at Fugitech, and did you know that just like our cellular data from having 5G networks to now, Wi-Fi technology has also evolved throughout the years since the introduction in 1997, the ongoing IEEE 802.11 standards has led into much faster data transmission rates, wider coverage or range, and more reliable and secure connections. So in this video, we'll dive into the world of Wi-Fi and explore the key differences between Wi-Fi 5, Wi-Fi 6, and the upcoming Wi-Fi 7 standard. Let's get started. Now before anything else, let's tackle the acronyms first. IEEE refers to the Institute of Electrical and Electronics Engineer Standards. They are the organization that sets and agrees to many electrical communications, electronics, and computer engineering standards. Companies that produce the manufacture electronic devices are members of this organization and they all agree on specifications of any new technology that will be produced. This includes Wi-Fi technology. 82.11 on the other hand is a part of 802 standards for local area network or LAN as well as wireless LAN along with the protocols needed to implement it. IEEE 802.11 uses various frequencies including but not limited to 2.4 GHz, 5 GHz, 6 GHz, and 60 GHz frequency bands. You'll hear and learn more about this later on. To kick things off, let's start with Wi-Fi 5, also known as 802.11c. This technology has been around for a while and it's still widely used today. Wi-Fi 6 offers significantly faster data transfer speeds. It can provide speeds for up to 3.5 gigabits per second, making it suitable for high bandwidth activities like streaming HD and 4K videos, online gaming, and large file transfers. It primarily operates on the 5 gigahertz frequency band, which tends to be less congested than the 2.4 gigahertz band used by Wi-Fi 4. This can result in less interference and more stable connection. Wi-Fi 5 also does support MIMO technology, which means multiple in, multiple out, allowing routers and devices to use multiple antennas for improved signal quality and reliability. When it comes to security, Wi-Fi 5 routers typically support the WPA3 encryption standard, which provides stronger security for your wireless network, making it perfect choice for public Wi-Fi use. And speaking of public use, Wi-Fi 5 can handle multiple devices simultaneously, making it more suitable for environments with many connected devices such as homes with numerous smart devices or BC offices. Wi-Fi 5 was a significant improvement over Wi-Fi 4. It has been widely adopted in both consumer and business wireless networking devices. However, it has since been succeeded by Wi-Fi 6 or 802.11ax and Wi-Fi 7 or 802.11e, which offers even higher speeds, better performance, and increased capacity for the growing demands of modern wireless networks. Now let's move on to Wi-Fi 6, also known as 802.11ax. This technology brought significant enhancements. It is the latest generation of wireless network technology that succeeded Wi-Fi 5 or 802.11ac. Here are the key features and improvements of the Wi-Fi 6. Wi-Fi 6 provides significantly faster data transfer speeds compared to Wi-Fi 5. It can deliver speeds up to 9.6 gigabits per second as compared to 3.5 gigabits per second that we have on Wi-Fi 5, making it ideal bandwidth for intensive tasks, 4K video streaming, online gaming, and large file transfers. In addition to that, one of the most notable features of Wi-Fi 6 is its ability to handle more devices simultaneously. It uses advanced techniques like orthogonal frequency division multi-axis to divide channels into smaller sub-channels, allowing multiple devices to share the same channel without causing congestion. It also is designed to excel in environments with numerous connected devices, such as crowded public spaces, offices, and smart homes. It uses techniques like basic service set coloring to reduce interference and improve network efficiency. 
It can also provide improved coverage and range, especially in challenging environments. This is achieved through technologies like the target wait time, which allows devices to schedule when they wake up and communicate with the router, reducing power consumption and enhancing battery life for connected devices. Wi-Fi 6 routers typically support the latest Wi-Fi security standard, WPA3, providing stronger encryption and protection against common security threats. Also, in this generation of Wi-Fi, we have a much more enhanced Moon MIMO technology, allowing routers to communicate with multiple devices simultaneously, improving the overall network efficiency. Wi-Fi 6 represents a significant step forward in wireless technology and is designed to meet the demands of modern networking. While multiple devices, including Spark Home Gadgets and LOT devices and LOT devices, require fast and reliable connections. It offers better performance, increased capacity, and improved efficiency, making it an excellent choice for homes and businesses looking to upgrade their wireless networks. And finally, the future of Wi-Fi, we have Wi-Fi 7 or IEEE 802.11be is in the horizon. However, this new generation of Wi-Fi band was not a standardized or widely deployed wireless networking technology just yet. Here are some of the things that you know so far about Wi-Fi 7. With this new generation of Wi-Fi band, we can expect to deliver even higher data transfer speeds than its predecessors, potentially reaching speeds of 30 gigabits per second or more. This would enable faster download speeds, ultra high definition streaming, and low latency applications, kind of like the 5G connectivity that we have today. There are also improvements in signal range and coverage that were anticipated, making Wi Fi 7 more suitable for larger homes and challenging environments. Having a lower latency is crucial for applications like online gaming and video conferencing. And with the upcoming Wi-Fi 7, we can expect to have a focus on minimizing latency, ensuring smoother and more responsive experiences. Wi-Fi 7 was likely to offer improved capacity to accommodate the growing numbers of connected devices in homes and businesses, particularly in the context of Internet of Things. Like its predecessors, Wi-Fi 7 was expected to include stronger security measures to protect against evolving cyber threats. It may have continued to support WPA3 encryption or introduce even more robust security features, making it suitable for both home, business, and public use. It was anticipated to feature a more efficient data transmission technology, reducing power consumption, and extending battery life of connected devices. Wi-Fi technology has come a long way from Wi-Fi 5 to Wi-Fi 6 and the promising Wi-Fi 7. Its generation brings significant improvements in speed, efficiency, and performance, ensuring that our wireless network can keep up with our ever-evolving connectivity needs. It's important to note that development and deployment of a new Wi-Fi standards can take several years, but according to some rumors, we can expect a worldwide debut of the Wi-Fi 7 band later next year, 2024. Why is all this important? Well, the type of Wi-Fi router you have at home and devices that connect to them, your PC or laptop, smartphone, TV, and other smart appliances will ultimately give you a better appreciation of the Wi-Fi technology and standards. If you have the latest Wi-Fi 6 capable router at home, that means it can maximize the speed of your fiber internet even if you're subscribed to one GBPS line. Second, if your laptop or PC is Wi-Fi 6 capable, then you'd be able to get better speeds and better coverage even if you are quite far from your home router. And lastly, if you live in a considerably large home with multiple TVs streaming 4K content or transferring files across the wireless network, and at the same time, some people are playing RTS games, your router should be able to efficiently manage all the bandwidth requirements for your network. Even here at the Ulitech Studio, we have two editing stations connected to our Synology NAS, and at the same time, we are all syncing our files to our Dropbox on our personal laptops and dozens of smartphones that we review. Plus, the constant streaming via YouTube and Netflix would often encounter some issues. How we solve all that bandwidth requirements is for another episode altogether. 
for now, we hope you find this video very informative. And if you find this video helpful, be sure to drop a like, subscribe to our channel for our content, hit the bell icon so you won't miss any future uploads, and don't forget to follow us on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, Twitter, and do visit ubeg.com for the latest tech news and reviews. Once again, this is BitRL, and I'll catch you guys in the next video.